We are back with another vlog from Serra Blanca today. We're on the top of Serra Blanca in front of Misho Hills where we actually bought our own property to the company. Uh, we're super excited. Uh, usually we work with flips. This one we actually bought to keep for a few years. We're Norma Frank. We're working with sales, working with interior and we're working with developments. And uh, yeah, let's follow Joseph now in because he's going down to the garage so we can start from there. We just got the keys uh, maybe a week ago and Joseph is the lucky one because he's gonna rent this one from the company and live here for the next few years. So here is one uh, excited partner. Hola. Why are you laughing? Ah, I'm just happy. <laughs> we follow you in, okay? All right. And here's Jonathan. How are you? You good? Talking to somebody on the phone. <laughs> There is one parking, another parking, and another parking. Yeah, here they are, the three parking spots. And also behind here you can see, there is a lot of different ways to do here. Uh, they just sold a property above, and those created two of those spots into a gym. Because this is private on the Scritura. So they kept one for the car, created the gym. We don't know what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do anything the next few years. But definitely the day we're going to sell it, we're going to do a big update on uh, and be creative. Look at this space. You've seen this space? Yeah, I've seen it. Well, yeah, so this is actually the pool, right? Yeah. That you will see from the apartment. Water tank, pool. So that, it means uh, you can jump from the roof to the left part. Look, that's deeper. Correctly. I'm going right. to store this right here. Why can't you bring it up? Yes. Let's go. I lasted five minutes into the vlog before I spilled my juice all over my white pants. So this bar is for three villas only. So yeah, big heated pool with skylights, a little gym, if you can call it that. Uh -huh. Just some stuff. Sauna, Turkish hammam, and dressing room. So lucky we had this just next door. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. And I like that it's heated, you know, so for winters it's perfect because yeah. the other pool that we're going to have is going to be heated also, but it's an outdoor pool. Yeah. But yeah, this is the big feature. Parking your uh, car. And uh, I have to find a key. <laughs> and you have direct access to your uh, private elevator. I think it's... This could take a while. Second to last. So this is the cool part. Uh, what we're gonna create, everything here is private now, okay? So this wall is coming down, and the whole area with the elevator coming directly down to uh, this floor is going to be like a, I'm not sure yet, man cave something. Yeah. I really like, uh, indoor simulator or golf that you can combine with a cinema because you can have that screen as a cinema you know so that is what this is gonna be let's go so we have the team here we're moving in furniture right now it's ready to move in yeah in uh, two hours <laughs> but this is our James Bond cape am I James Bond then yes uh, you want to do the tour, Joseph, or should I? We can do it together. So, uh, yeah, let's start over here. Let's start from the beginning. We have a toilet for guests. We have one bedroom on the entrance level, which also takes you out to the terrace or the kind of garden out here. You have a grass plot, you have a private pool in front. Uh, en suite. Uh, everything is like new. But it's also a little bit dated, or it's not our Scandinavian style all the way through. But it's okay. And uh, like I like I said, we bought this uh, for another reason. We bought it to to keep it for a few years because we really believe in those properties. We believe in the area, and we also wanted to start with our portfolio of properties that we actually own into the company, and not only working with flips which we do all the time with our investors. Here's the elevator where we came from. Here is the entrance towards the kitchen. 
Hola. And we have a full team here right now from the Royal Franklin packing. And so this is the kitchen. We're gonna do some small updates. We're gonna remove those doors to have it more open. Uh, the kitchen is okay. It's not super, but it's 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 nice. It's still got our appliances, high windows, a lot of light coming in. And here would be the dining area slash living room, fireplace. How how many square meters is this one? It's 480 living and uh, 250 300 uh, terrace in total. So it's about 800 total space. And yeah, around the pool uh, there is grass, so we're gonna plant really, really high, like tropical plants, so uh, you get more privacy. And just here, if you come here far enough, it's just like a, on this level, this is the only sea view you have, so this part we keep open. Mm. So it's actually gonna be kind, kind of cool with the infinity going towards plants, yeah. and then there's a little space in between a, a gap where you have the ocean view. Exactly. That's and it. you will see it when you walk around. It, it's nice, but for sure along the way we will do some small updates. For example, the pool is amazing, but we would prefer to change this mosaic to maybe something more tropical, a bit more greenish. Or black. Or black is also I'm actually nice. thinking of doing a black yeah, pool. Black is nice. But it's great. It's great that you filmed this now, because uh, it's going to be fun showing this, uh, you know, the steps. Because now the summer is here. Uh, we're not going to do two much now like the, the rooftop we're not gonna touch yeah. it's gonna be too hot to be there yeah, anyway for, sure. for now but then uh, i think in september we're gonna buy in a little outdoor kitchen we're gonna create a wet area with a jacuzzi outdoor shower and it's gonna be really cool because we have to get uh these huge cranes because it's over 65 meters from the street yeah so uh, so like, you can only like get one special crane to yeah. do this. So we'd have to block off the street to get the jacuzzi yeah, up. Yeah. So for sure we need to, you guys are gonna see that. Yeah, we, we have that problem in one of our projects in uh, La Sakia as well. We'll have to lift over all the buildings exactly. with exactly. that big pool that we're building there. All right, that's the first floor. Let's go up. <laughs> what I really love about this uh, unit is that this whole floor now is gonna be a master suite. It's gonna be master and suite. So it's already a huge master, but we're gonna have the walk-in closet there. You wanna start there? Sure. So it is originally three bedrooms, but as Gilsu was mentioned, this is now gonna be designed into a huge walk-in closet. It's crazy, crazy big. It's uh, six meters times 550 something so mm -hmm. it's like you know, almost 30 square meters even more i think mm -hmm. we're a private little terrace on suite so it's gonna be a carpet exactly full carpet and a bespoke uh, uh, bespoke walking mm -hmm. and we decided to do a, a walking island as well with a little seating and some uh, storage for your jewelries and belts and ties and stuff like that okay so here's the master which is double the size or even three four times the size of the walking closet that we just saw the bed outlet looks tiny on this yeah we got, we, everything's gonna change so we have already changed all the spots the bed is ordered from uh, Calvidium so it's gonna be uh, 210 times 210 so this is not gonna work now mm. So we're gonna have a headboard in wood and everything's gonna switch, like shift. And this is gonna be middle of the bed. And I really love this office space. Just look at that view of a Puerto Banos sitting and working on your desk. Mm -hmm. With some furniture in here, it's gonna be... Yeah, I forgot to say, the most important, if you just turn around, is the floor. We're gonna change the floor color to the same as the living room downstairs. A bit more darker. Yeah, it's gonna match that one. I like, I really like that color. So that's, they're starting with that already tomorrow. All right, elevator. 
Have fun. It's gonna be hard. Saras. I'm not joining you guys anymore. All right. So look at this. As you can see, this is your private roof terrace. And here is actually a fundament to place a jacuzzi. So the developer for these properties uh, had this space specially designed for jacuzzi. So that's what we talked about, to lift that all the way over here. This we're just gonna leave for now. Uh, it's summer, it's too hot to be up here, but we're also gonna create magic here in the future. But this is incredible. You can't even, I don't know how you can get like better views than this, you know? You see everything and it's southwest, so it's the best orientation as well. All right, so up here, uh, all of this you will, you will follow uh, during this process, uh, but this is something that we're not gonna stress. We're gonna decorate this now, do some small changes, and during those two, maybe three years, we're gonna develop this property. So once we reach the peak in two, three years, we're gonna sell it, so that's the plan. And uh, yeah, that was the tour uh, from this property. And we are actually bringing Joseph and we're gonna meet up with our head of sales, Lori, up in El Madrunal, cause uh, we had a lead that it is quite a large plot up there that we might be interested in. So right now we're gonna head up there and take a look at that plot. So join us. So I'll explain to you, we we built these three houses up here. So you got one, two, and then one behind there. Are oh, they in uh, gate two? They're in gate they're two. Gate yeah. I'm a junior resident. Because I had my 30th, 30th birthday <laughs> just there. Which one? The, the, uh, this house up here, Ruben's just, house? Just above it, uh, the Andalusian style one. I okay. think it's a Dutch guy or woman. Okay. One. I think so. Okay. But yeah, I, I saw these ones. From, yeah. like I was just above it and they look great. So anyway, so we sold that and we ended up buying this and the idea was we were gonna we designed this single story house because the plot it you know it's three it's it's two thousand eight hundred and three on the title deed. Two thousand eight hundred. But in reality it's actually because there's an eight metre retaining wall here. Yeah. When it was built, when it was when it was flattened, we bought it and then we raised it a little bit. Right. And when we did that the idea was we were just going to build a, uh, a house on one level. We we're going to have the whole one volume. Level, yeah. yeah. So, but we we're going to have the whole volume. I'll show you. This was the concept. So, I love it. so no they, pillars so, anywhere. <laughs> so they all slide into the wall yeah. on the front and the back. You don't really have views from the ground floor. No. You've got you've got privacy because this house faces that way, and you know this house is again facing that way. If yeah. you build it in the right way, you've got privacy. You haven't really got views from from the ground floor. From the first floor, you've got no views. No snakes here, right? <laughs> no snakes. My house, we've got snakes, we've got boar, we've look got at, deer. Look at those shoes. None. <laughs> Perfect shoes for uh, project <laughs> day and looking at plots. And snakes. Yeah. <laughs> I was good seeing it. But let's do that. We need to, of course, do some calculations yeah. on it. And uh, you want to let it go. That's, that's your objective. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was very nice to see. I've never seen a plot like this. It's no, not in Edmonton. <laughs> no. Everything doesn't have like yeah, sea views here. But I like this view here. Yeah. You see some houses, you see the mountain. Yeah. That's what I, I mean. It doesn't have to have be. You have a good view, no matter if it's mountain, sea, valley, trees, wherever. But you have a view yeah. and privacy, of course. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm I'm a dog person. <laughs> yeah, me too. We got cats. Cats are. Uh, I, I don't I don't trust <laughs> we got we got an 85 kilo Great Dane and he's only 18 months old wow yeah. you got how he has a big dog he has an American bully yeah yeah, yeah. they're beautiful though I have a French bulldog small and compact much more sensible yes a oh, very interesting plot here in El Madronal gate 3 uh, El Madronal in general is super steep everywhere all the plots are on a on a hill most of the time so this is the first time i see a plot like this uh, just flat and straight very easy to build very large as well almost 3000 square meters uh, you don't really have sea views but you have amazing view from here as you can see other villas you see la concha mountain 
and you see the valley going down. And uh, we're gonna go back do a small calculation. I know that this uh, it's a good calculation, but it's also a lot of work, you know, building a house like like this in this scale. Um, but it was very interesting to see, and we will look deeper into it for sure. But with this, we're gonna say bye bye for this time and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the property we saw before and this plot as well. And we'll see you next time. Enjoy it.